Hello, my name's Andrew, and today I have a quick update video for you guys on the Light Phone 3 production schedule. So, good news, the Light Phone is still on schedule to ship in February. I think they may have moved it back um, a week or two, but um, still looking good. So I just thought that I would take you through some of the major milestones that they have left. Um, the first one is the software verification, which is supposed to be done November 29th, and then we have FCC certifications. Um, which they're expecting to be done on December 15th, which sounds great. Um, they said there's some risk there. They're not really in control of that process. You know, if you have bureaucracy and they can't get the certification in the time they expect, well, that's just what it is. But as for now, it looks good. Um, packaging, this is kind of interesting. They say with the packaging that they um, want something that you could keep forever, which I don't know. So hopefully it'll be made out of um, some really durable materials and I don't know, maybe you can use it for something else or I don't know, maybe it'll just be like a cool storage case for the light phone. But up the top of the blog post here, they've got kind of like a preview. It sort of looks like um, maybe like a faux leather case or something. It's got some interesting texture there, um, but I can't really tell too much. So yeah, another teaser from light phone. But anyways, um, after FCC, um, they have a mass production test, which is supposed to happen um, January 24th before the Chinese New Year. And then all the, the factories take a break off, <laughs> which, um, yeah, is, I'm sure is frustrating for brands all around the world. But anyways, then they're going to begin shipping the Light Phone 3 for their earliest pre-orders in February, which is awesome. Actually, it says early February. So um, then they're going to continue shipping other pre-orders um, by the end of March. And then pre-orders, like if you order today, um, you should get it in April. That's the estimated delivery. Um, like I said, the, the risks really are just at this point for the FCC certification and also the carrier certification. So you have to be certified for like Verizon and ATT, ATT, AT&T. Um, but yeah, they're saying that it should be ready. So we'll see. It's getting really excited. This is November 29th. We're almost into December. So a couple months and we should be able to, um, get our hands on Light Phone 3. I'm really excited to see how the camera works, um, in specific and just like whether the, um, the OLED screen that they've sort of gone off like a mat and, um, brightness adjustment with the little scroll wheel there, like if that'll compensate enough for... Switching from the uh, Light Phone 2, which I've used and loved for, what, three years now? Yeah, so I do like the e-ink screen, and um, I don't know, maybe eventually they'll do an e-ink version of the new Light Phone 3, which I think would be really cool, but I don't know. I think it'll be a nice trade-off for having a camera, and, um, like, I'm at my aunt and, uncle's right ho aunt and uncle's house right now visiting for the holidays, and it's been really hard to motivate myself to vlog, you know? So the idea of just having like this little, you know, phone slash camera that can take decent quality video that I could just record like little shorts or vlogs and stuff like that is, I don't know, it seems super cool to me. And I'm just excited as everyone else to see what the phone's gonna be like. But yeah, if you have any questions about the Light Phone, um, let me know down in the comments. And if you want to know more, you can check out my Light Phone 2 versus 3 comparison video. So yeah, that's all the new info I have for you guys now on the Light Phone 3. But thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Peace.